okay guys so in this video i wanted to give you a briefly explain on what is the meaning of income statement or what you should know income statement before you treat a different kind of transactions so please make sure that you stay tuned so that after this video you will be able to know the format and the basic behind income statement okay so when we talk about income statement guys some other books they call it profit and loss statement or comprehensive income statement is the same thing okay so it's one of the financial statement so guys when we talk about a income statement we simply talk about the statement that is going to show us whether we have make a profit or loss we want to see actually are we making a profit or are we making a loss into our business all right so now let's go to format it and try to analyze some of the important principle behind income statement so when we prepare income statement guys we start with what we call a sales or you can also call it a revenue okay that should be number one always guys you don't have to start with cost of sales or you start with expenses no we start with sales then after that we are going to subtract cost of sales okay then after that we're gonna get the amount that we call it a gross profit that's part one of income statement that you, that you need to know which i believe that is very simple you take this amount and you subtract this amount and it's gonna give you this amount very simple so but in however guys if you face a transaction like there is some return from customers to our business which means that you have to come here and take the sales amount and subtract those return all returns from customers we have to subtract it before we get the total of of sales okay if the company is using perpetual inventory system we also have to subtract the cost of these goods of return okay the cost of goods return which means that this amount will not be the same because this is a selling price this one should be a cost price very simple okay then after that guys we are going to part that we call it other income when we talk about other income this is income other than sales that the company has received very simple for example we can receive amount from um compensation compensation from insurance maybe our house has been and the insurance pay out the money that's not a sales we can't record it under sales but on other income okay we also have what we call a rent income and we can also have commission income we have a lot of other income guys that we we can record okay i will talk about the other one here let's just keep it for now i will tell you why okay then after that guys you we also have um expenses 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 guys there are so many please make sure that you treat the different kind of question papers so that you will know expenses because there are so many for example we have a rent expense we can have insurance we can have rate and taxes we can have salaries that we paid to our to our, to our uh, employees salaries and wages okay we can have a depreciation there are so many guys there are so many okay just like that like that you have to make sure that you check all of them because you, we can't cover all of them in one video normally there are more than 100 expenses obviously there are more than 100 so there's no way that we can list all of them here okay so the important part that i want to emphasize here 
we can also have um, okay let me lay down bed at first because it's related to bed -aids. okay we have provision for bed adjustment sometimes you can find it here provision for bed -aids. but sometimes you are going to find it here as an expense this uh, kind of transition is depend on what happened for example if we found that most of the client they are not going to pay us our money for us it's a loss which means that it's an expense but if we found that more client that we are doubting that this one they are not going to pay us they are now paying us which means that it's income other income okay now before we go to the last part i want us to know this principle once you know this principle income statement is going to be straightforward to you we have a principle that we call it matching concept or matching principle okay when we talk about matching principle guys this principle said that when we record income and expenses of income statement we have to make sure that we record only 12 months it must be 12 months in other words they are saying that it must be for that year that we are recording if we are recording for 2024 it must be recorded for 2024 only very simple so the adjustment that you are going to deal with on other income and expense they are related to this principle because what they are going to give you they are going to say rent expense for much has not been paid in other words they are indicating to you that the rent has been paid for 11 months now you have to apply this principle it must be 12 which means that you have to add another one month so that it can give you 12 then it will align with the principles very simple some transaction they will say that this rent income has been received for the uh, for the following next year for, for for the other two months of the following year which means that they recorded 14 months because a year have 12 and they added another two for next year which means that in order for you to follow this principle you have to say 14 minus rent for two months then it will give you 12 then you will align with this principle once you know and follow this principle guys you are going to kill income statement very simple and straightforward okay make sure that everything that you record here is for if it's for 2024 record it for 2024 only very simple very simple then after that um, the part that you are going to to do you're gonna have what we call operating profit when we talk about operating profit this is gross profit plus other income minus expense then it will give you operating profit okay then after that we're gonna do interest income interest income like if you invested from the bank they give you interest you record it under interest income then after that you're gonna have what we call profit before interest expense okay which means that after that you just take this one you add this one then you get a uh, in profit before interest expense then after that you record interest expense then the last one it will be profit for the year unless you are preparing income statement for a company which means that you must first subtract tax so that you can get net profit for the year so that's the basic of income statement that you need to know guys